Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Yellowfin Yachts. Hey gang, today I'm in the bayou. I'm in Venice, Louisiana, fishing out of Venice Marina. I'm with the Pro Marine Fishing Team. We're going way offshore. Whatever you guys do, don't touch that dial. It's going to be off the hook. Okay, what we did this morning was we ran out of Venice Marina. We ran about 40 miles. We ran about 200 feet of water. We're dropping some live baits, some chunk baits down on some conventional gear down to the bottom, looking for American Red Snapper, Gag Grouper, Red Grouper, AJs. This place, they, they like to call it Epcot because it's a little bit of everything. Everything kind of lives out here. The bottom's got a lot of cuts and curves to it, a lot of height. Should be an interesting, interesting way to start our morning here in the bayou. Uh-oh, Jimbo. What you got, big fella? What you got, big fella? Hey, turn the handle, Randall. Yeah, real big fella, real big fella, real big fella. <laughs> what you got? He's using a 60-pound uh, braided line. Dropped a big old chunk bait down there. I'm guessing you might have a big snapper on there. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a big old snapper. 240 feet. Oh, 240, huh? Yeah. That's a long ways to bring up a fish. I can... That's why God created electrics. <laughs> <laughs> Is he popping his head, Rick Jim? Yeah, he did a little bit. That's a piece of cut, big old piece of cut bait right there. Might so. be a big grouper. Oh, he's floating? I think it has a big grouper. We're all taking bets. Grouper, snapper, <laughs> shark. You know AJ. you're on, but you know you're on a great piece when you just don't have any idea. You have no what's idea here. what we're gonna catch. That's the way it is. Yeah, that's the best part of it. Welcome to uh, Louisiana. It's just fun oh, fishing. Here it comes. We got color. Here it comes. <laughs> yes. Oh, big old American, American red. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. You think? Look at the size of that beast. When you bring these fish up from such deep depths, we're in 240 feet of water, we have a thing here called the sequelizer. It used to be they wanted us to vent these fish to get them decompressed to go back down. Here, we're using a thing called the sequelizer, and what it'll do, we have a weight taking it down, and we set the sequelizer up for about 50 to 60 feet. When that fish gets right. down, its innards recompress to the atmosphere below the water the sequelizer are released and the fish is able to swim off. If you just leave them up top, their stomach and all the pressure from us pulling them off the bottom keeps them up top. They can't decompress and go back down. That's the whole basis on the sequelizer. It's barotrauma stuff. You know, when you pull a fish up from really deep water like that, they undergo what's called barotrauma. And that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that that fish can go back down to the bottom, reproduce, be caught again at a later time, all those good things. We're taking care of the fishery is what we're doing. Uh-oh, fish on. We ain't even got the bear trauma tool back in the boat. We got another fish on already. Come on, Austin, what you got, kid? You got me, man. That's your call, small snappers to call. What do you got, Jim? <laughs> Jim's got a bent rod. He's got Team Pro Marines, got bent rods everywhere. <laughs> Welcome to the bayou. First three baits to hit the bottom, three fish on right away. Big American red so far. Let's see what the team has got here. No. Oh, you got a little AJ. Oh, Amber Jack action there, huh? Just like I said, there's a reason they call it Epcot, because everything swims out here. Got a little Amber Jack here. This one came on a thread fin. Nice fish. 240 feet of water. A lot of grunt going on over here, Jim Nassett. <laughs> you want that belt? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Look at the size of that American Red. Now this is the fish that we don't have any of, right? Right. This is the one that's missing. I don't think they even swim anymore. This is the one that's missing from the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Wow. That good. is an absolute beast. Wow. Jim Nassett, that board on it. is a pig, my friend. Look at I'm that. Digging. Look at that, huh? That's Pro Marine fish in Venice, Louisiana, right there. Just pull up and just start dropping them, catching them. That's all you do. That's all you do. Tough gig. <laughs> Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. We're out here 240 feet of water, just out of Venice, Louisiana, about 40 miles. Everything is out here. The boys call this Epcot because it just seems to be a mishmash of everything. Sharks, AJs, big American red snapper. So just the first three drops, immediately fish on. I haven't even had a chance to drop a bait yet. Fixing the drop and we'll see what happens to Captain Mike here. This guy is getting chased all over the place. Probably a shark on him. A little shark. See him? You can hardly eat that runner. The runner's bigger than him. Shark. He's over here. He's got him here. He's ball hooked. Just get the uh, T hooker. Good job. That a boy. Austin, the hot hook today. Does it feel like, eh? Oh, I'm gonna say a good American Red. Big color, big American Red snapper. Oh boy. This is a nice one. You got one, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Atta boy. Oh, Taking drag. Much drag. <laughs> Listen to the drag screaming on the Marquesas here. I'm fishing pretty light which I like to do. I like to fish light tackle, as light as I can possibly go and get away with it. Whatever this is, it's taking drag, it's digging, and I like it. God, look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. Unbelievable the size of the American Red Snapper. Absolutely ridiculous. Whoo, look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there, huh? I don't know, but I don't know, I don't care, but I'm gonna guess that it's probably the biggest I've ever caught. Look at that beauty, huh? The Marques is 20, 30 pound test, light tackle, getting it done. There's a lot of different conventional bottom rigs people can use. You can go really, really heavy or you can go kind of light. Today I'm using the Marquesa 20. I'm only using 30 pound braid. Jim, Austin, they're using 60 pound braid. I like to go light. I just like the fight. I like the challenge. I've got a semi heavy jigging rod. Takes probably fish up to 40, 50 pounds. I'm not really rigged for it on my line. But what we have here is we've got an 80 pound leader, a fluorocarbon leader. We're hooked to a one pound weight. Out here in the, in the delta, this close, 240 feet of water, the current is ripping. So we need a, a weight that's real heavy that'll get it down to the bottom. That's where your fish are. They're on these ledges and humps on the bottom. And all I did was kind of set up this up as a chicken rig. I've got an eight out hook stretched out up here. And all you do is set that big weight down on the bottom, 240 feet of water. Your bait will be out here, whether you use a cut bait or a live bait. And that'll draw your strike right here. And then all you got to do is go to work, bring it to the surface. You can kind of see why they call it Epcot here. You can see all the life up on this piece and how high this piece comes up into the column. And, and this creates a great ambush point. This is where the bait is going to stage, and this is where you're going to find all these different species. That's why the American Red Snapper are here, the AJs are here, the Sharks are here, there's Grouper here, Scamp here, you name it. It's going to be holding on pieces like this, and you can tell all the fish that are on there by all the color going on right there. Get him. Oh, Come on, get Austin. Austin. Get him, Austin. What is he? Snapperhead? Well, that snapperhead is whooping your tail. He's 
got really light. He just oh, get eaten by a shark. Oh, he's gone. Off? Oh no, he's still there. Is he really? Yeah. Swimming up like maybe a schnapper or a scamp. Let's, let's get a, a scamp, scamp, Austin. AJ. And even bumping on this bottom, we can go a half a mile away, still catch the same thing. Just good bottom all over the place. Yeah, I think we got another big American red, I think. This piece has a few American reds on it. The non-existent large American red snapper in the Gulf of Mexico. Shaking his head? Yeah. A lot of head shake. Oh, oh little AJ, AJ this time. AJ. Nice. Nice. Very nice, cool. Nice. nice. Very cool, again. Cool species, great fight. Awesome fish when you catch them big, put them on the smoker. This one will go back to grow up a little bit. Yeah, bigger. it needs to be a little bigger. Good little attitude though. It's awesome. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, I was using a 50 to 100 pound class jigging rod, Fenor Marquesas 20 conventional reel with 30 pound braided line and 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. We were using live croakers along with medium sized blue runners rigged on 5 aught and 7 aught circle hooks for bait. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Fenor, the offshore reel choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. 13 Fishing, Make Your Own Luck, and Miralu, The Record Setters. All right, we hit our first pot this morning. Big, huge American Reds, some of the biggest I've ever caught. A couple of AJs, some sharks. We were expecting maybe some grouper, but the grouper never showed up this morning. We ran about 12 miles to another piece here. It's kind of noisy, as you can tell. What we're doing is we're fishing a rig. This is called City Rig. Um, we're going to be dropping live croakers down, and the mangrove snapper usually just go absolutely crazy here. You can see they've got some chummed up on the surface already. It's going to be absolutely incredible action. This is one of the, the real awesome game fish uh, that we get here in Louisiana because of these oil rigs and this structure draws a lot of these mangrove snapper to them. They can be really, really tough to catch, but usually catch some really big, beautiful mangrove snapper. I don't know what it is, but it's ornery. Get him, Mikey! Shark. There's a shark. <laughs> All right, little black tip shark. Means you're on a very healthy piece of water. We're gonna make this short and simple. Put another hook on. I'm on it. Another shark. Oh, we got the sharks happy right now. You're winning. Still got enough leader? Oh yeah. Like I said, everything lives out here in the Delta. These giant oil rigs make great structure, draws in the bait fish, brings the sharks, the snapper, the grouper, the cobia, everything hangs out here. Deep water, phenomenal fishery, absolutely incredible. If you've never been to the Louisiana Delta to go fishing, trust me, Venice Marina, Venice, Louisiana, get down here and check this place out. It is unbelievable. One of the really neat things about the Louisiana Delta here is it's covered with these oil rigs. And not only does it create an incredible estuary for the fish, the mangrove snapper and the cobia and the grouper and this just, it's, it's great cover for them, great structure for them to come to with the bait, but it also, in the middle of the hot Louisiana summer day, creates great shade for us. <laughs> it's really weird to be sitting out here in the middle 
of the day in the Gulf of Mexico and be sitting in the shade, but I am very appreciative of it. Get him, dog. Get him, get him, get him, Austin. Get him, kid. There. Oh, nice, nice thing. Good job, Austin. Good job, Austin. A mango snapper, mango snapper. Atta boy, here comes Austin with another one. Not? What is that? I have no idea. A Bermuda chip. Dude, I didn't even feel the bite. Right in the rig. That is two complete spankings for Captain Mike. Wow. Guys, this week's tip of the week is Pro Marine USA. Dot com. My good friend Jim Nassett here, as always, bringing us to Louisiana, doing some great fishing. It's one of the most impressive places I've ever been. Absolutely an incredible warehouse of parts. All you got to do, go to ProMarineUSA.com. If you need the parts, you want the parts, if you're taking your boat to a pro to have it fixed on and they're having trouble finding the parts, they can get them at ProMarineUSA.com. They're competitive prices, great quality parts, and we have them in stock ready to ship. I think that's the impressive part is when you see the facility, <laughs> it's such a large building, and when you walk in, there's no empty space. You guys have shelves, and all the shelves are full all the time. And they know where everything's at? It's unbelievable. Awesome. Yeah, it's absolutely unbelievable. We've been preaching about these guys for years. They're some of the best people on the planet. If you need parts, like, you, like we said, for the do-it-yourselfer, or if you do it professionally and you fix boats for a living, ProMarineUSA.com. They can help you out. Check them out today. And that's your tip of the week. Absolutely crazy bite here in the bayou. Almost every drop we're getting bit. Again, we're using about a, a pound of weight. We're using some croakers, some chunk bait. We've caught sharks. We've caught AJ. We've caught American Red Snapper. These guys have been on this piece recently. They're scamp here, gag grouper, all kinds of incredible fish. You never know what you're going to pull up out here. It's absolutely a gorgeous day, a great day for fishing in Louisiana. We're stepping up the bait a little bit. We've been fishing with some croakers, catching those American Red Snapper. And my good friend Kevin, <laughs> or my ex-friend Kevin. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you're going to like me after that one. Yeah, decided to put on a small a blue runner. blue runner. Yeah. So this ought to last down there for about 12 seconds, and then I'm going to be in a lot of pain for about five minutes, probably. <laughs> Boy, come on. Nervous. Uh-oh. You go two minutes without a hit, you think something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get him, Mike! <laughs> turn the handle. Can't turn the handle when the line's going that way. Wow. What you got, Bob? I don't have any idea, but it's large. And it's staying way down in several hundred feet of water. I don't know what eats a 11-inch uh, bait, but I got a funny feeling it's not little. You might have a grouper. How you doing there, Bob? Good. Any pressure on him? Yeah, it's coming up a little bit. It's still kind of doing what it wants to do, but. Coming up off the bottom. Nice. 
I don't think 30 pound gear was the right gear to bring. <laughs> Did you get him off the bottom or not? I don't know. He's not even moving. Let me go back a little bit. That's why I think it's a shark. Yeah. Does it get lighter when I do that? No. No, it's taking drag, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's got to be a huge shark. Yeah, there he goes. Got to be a huge shark. Oh, I'm really wrong. It got off. <laughs> you, lot, you, you, got, you got missed out on 230 foot of excitement. Guys, absolutely a great day. Jim Nassa, thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely incredible trip to the bayou. Kevin Hannon. Austin, you're the man today, lighting fish up all over the board, man. Way to go, buddy. I Thank appreciate you. that. Somebody had to carry us. Big American red snapper. We caught sharks. We caught AJs. We caught mangrove snapper. Another great day of fishing out of the Venice Marina here in Venice, Louisiana. If you're coming this way, all you got to do is get a hold of the Venice Marina. They'll hook you up. If you need some more info, you can give me a call. 1-866-GAMEFISH. For more great fishing info, remember, you can log on to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. Whatever you do, don't let your kid be the one that got away.